On a defense that, let's face it, needs some work, there's a couple of positions that you're probably looking at for the Las Vegas Raiders that heading into training camp, all the mini camps, all the OTs, all that kind of thing, you're kind of wondering how it's all going to play out. And I think that there is specifically one position, linebacker, that is going to be the biggest position battle for the Las Vegas Raiders. And there's a multitude of reasons for this. Number one, you lost Denzel Perriman last year, who... I mean, he's been the leader in the middle for the last couple of seasons, and it's been something to watch. Uh, also, you got to consider the fact that, I mean, uh, I'll just show you the uh, the whole depth chart, just kind of how it all looks. But, I mean, uh, you just look at this defense. So, Divine Diablo, pretty good against the run game, had an over a uh, 74.0 PFF run defense grade last year. So, he's been pretty respectable. But you did lose Denzel Perriman. You brought in Robert Spillane from the Steelers. He's not amazing, but he'll get the job done. Uh, you know, that's kind of what we're seeing with middle linebackers today for the most part. Uh, Luke Masterson. I mean, he was average. Uh, we saw some good things from him later on in the season. Maybe he'll end up uh, really surprising a lot of people. But the thing is, is on all levels, everybody, I mean everybody, needs to get their opportunity to compete because you got Amari Bernie in day three of the 2023 NFL draft this year. He's a guy that, you know, I think he's best suited for kind of like a uh, kind of a hybrid type role that can guard because he's fast enough to guard the running backs. I, I believe he's big enough to guard the tight ends as well. So he's got kind of an interesting role that I think he'll play in this defense. And then yes, you got Curtis Bolton and Drake Thomas, who honestly I've been really excited about. We've put in uh, put it out there, excuse me, that we think he could definitely be a guy that gets his opportunity and shines right away. Um, because I mean, it, it, just at North Carolina State, the only reason this guy went undrafted was because you know he's five ten, average height, but he just absolutely got after it for the Wolf Pack. Uh, last year and really has over the last couple of years and a lot of different facets not even just uh you know having 100 over 100 tackles last year uh it was the fact that he could cover and he could pa rush the passer that was literally it um he was a jack of all trades there at north carolina state and i think you know with all of the different linebackers you have nobody is safe nobody is safe so divine diablo again yes i understand we've seen some really good flashes for him he can really get after the the ball carrier but you know there's still that concern of in space can he defend can he cover some of those running backs some of those uh, tight ends that kind of a thing even wide receivers in some cases so is he fast enough is he athletic enough to do that uh you know he has struggled in that all in his first couple of seasons in the nfl then, yes, Robert Spillane, like I said, uh, yes, brought over from the Steelers, not anything to write home about, but he is a meat and potatoes middle linebacker that's going to be able to take care of stuff. Uh, but at the end of the day, yes, nobody is safe on this roster. I don't care who it is, whether it's Spillane, uh, Drake Thomas, if he's balling out, Amari Bernie, uh, it, it does not matter. There needs to be an absolute sellout in competition. That means whoever plays the best plays. I don't care that you signed Robert Spillane to a two-year deal uh, that you know is worth more than most of your linebackers on this roster. It doesn't matter to me. It's the fact that if you want this defense to get better, if you want this uh, this thing to really take the next step and help out Jimmy G and maybe win some games this year, and if you're tanking, fine. But at the end of the day, if you want this defense to be better, there needs to be competition. And again, the best player needs to play regardless of space uh, or uh, particularly how they got to the team. And quite honestly, I think there's quite a few players uh, that I'm really excited to see. Guys like Drake Thomas that we touched on. I think Divine Diablo is still salvageable. Uh, just hoping he can stay healthy this year and move forward with it. So like I said, I, I think moving forward, linebacker is the biggest position of, uh, you know, that's going to have the biggest um, and be the most competitive. Excuse me. Let us know what you guys think. And make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. I greatly appreciate all of you guys' support and love. You guys are all truly awesome. We love every single one of you you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms so give us a like and a follow there also remember to uh, remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below that we would love to cover but let us know what you guys think about the las vegas raiders biggest position battle heading into all of these camps being linebacker